Canada has recorded over 100,000 cases and more than 8,500 deaths. While the situation in Canada may be stabilizing, there are troubling signs right across the country that we are not out of the woods yet. Community outbreaks have hundreds of people on alert. And as Heather Yerkes West explains, the steps taken now could determine whether this country faces a second wave and how bad it gets. Residents entering this downtown Calgary condo high-rise are now greeted with a warning from health officials. The building is home to the city's latest outbreak of COVID-19. At least 45 people have become sick. Three have been hospitalized. They think by um, surfaces, like elevators and everything, like we've been um, reassured that it can't flow through vents or anything. Um, but yeah, they're quite confident it's like through elevator touching. The situation here helped push Alberta's new case numbers Saturday to highs not seen since mid-May. Across Canada, there have been outbreaks as well. At least 21 cases have been linked to an outbreak at a nail salon in Kingston, Ontario. In Vancouver, patrons of a popular strip club have been asked to monitor for symptoms after several people tested positive for COVID-19. It's a game of whack-a-mole where these things are going to pop up and we've just got to crush them as they, as they pop up and, and we've got to identify them as early as possible. This infectious disease expert says while outbreaks are not unexpected right now, staying on top of them is critical. And that's not something public health units can do alone. Employers have a role to play to ensure workplaces are safe for both staff and patrons. But to keep numbers low, individuals will have to step up too. Citizens have their own obligations that we need to do. That means washing our hands, that means maintaining two meters of physical distancing, and that means putting on a mask when you go into an indoor environment. So, hey. That's something that will become more important the more opportunities Canadians have to gather in larger groups. It's a great joy to be open. For the first time in months Sunday, residents in Montreal were able to gather in places of worship with restrictions in place. Maximum attendance limits meant not all were welcome inside. I'm just a little sad that uh, today I was here at 8 and I could not enter. Actually, I was here at uh, 7.30 and there was already a lineup of people. Activities like singing hymns have made places of faith super spreaders in the past. Moving forward safely will take vigilance and caution in order to keep the virus at bay. Heather Urex West, Global News, Calgary.